Welcome to downtown LA, Vampire. In this place, you'll see many things. More streets, for instance. More whores. And a vampire who I suspect to be the one and only Kane. Who loves to just chill and drive a taxi cab. Let me see. Oh. How many experiences do we have? We have zero. My firearms is getting pretty good. Anyways, the Jester Prince is waiting. Wait a minute. Son of a bitch. You look familiar, Chief. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Whew, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Superwoods. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Big wig? No, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. May the fat of many creatures fill your belly. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. <laughs> what are you a chunk of? Is there a bigger piece? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my Does football he? days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. I will stitch your name into my brain. Farewell. Well, how about that? We introduced Chuck to a, uh, Chunk to a little bit of insanity, and his whole life turns around. And now he's got a nice cushiony job in an ivory tower. Maybe it was a good thing that we did that. Ah. Mr. Tallman and his Jester Prince. What's up, LaCroix? There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? I didn't do it. The Astrolite did. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Probably not. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? <laughs> uh, let me see. What shall I spy with my little eyes? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? You hear them too. I mean, continue. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation 
is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. Why this one? Should I repeat myself? I do believe I mentioned the fact that I bent the delicate laws that govern our society to allow you a chance to live. If that isn't enough, I can't give you another reason. Hmm. Help me understand. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Danes' arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you don't find. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? More than you know. Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He wants me to find the last round in the field of massive rectangles. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. I am gone. Give the Anarch community my regards. <laughs> Good one. He doesn't say much. Do you suppose he used to play basketball? I don't suppose I could take anything from this place. I don't know what Chunk has to say. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Yeah, I already see did what that. We got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. And then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! Chunk, there's nothing there, man. Get your hands up that Whoops. Oh well. <sighs> Finally, free to explore a bit of the night. I guess we should go back down and go down to the nine then. Or, what was it? The last round? Yeah. The last round. Gents? I think. Huh. Running down the middle of the street. True Malkavian way. Never. Too bad. It's actually probably a good thing cars aren't coming. Because I'd probably just run right into them or something. Hey! Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem. I just don't give a fuck. 
Gotta appreciate that honesty. Are you a merchant of the ill-gotten, illegal, and inferior? Oh man, you been feeding on that rock, kid? Nah, 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 brother. I don't sell none of that no more. No more. Mm, you got some crazy eyes on you. Believe me, I don't have to see the freeze-dried ice cream to know a space cadet when I see one. <laughs> Fine. No feast of Ben Franklin's for the fat man tonight. Yo, now hold on a sec, brother. Chill for a sec, all right? Let me just tell you what I got. You need jewelry for your woman? I got that. You got a neighbor with a baby? I got loud ass stereos. You live downtown? I got firearms make the NRA nervous. Ah, finally, the truth of America. You have guns for my cold, dead hands. Show me. Oh, sweet. I'll assume that this is this game's take on heavier or better armor. And I will be taking that. Uh, I don't need a knife, I've got a katana. Uh, I'd rather have the katana. Don't need that. Wow, I just straight up took the whole box. I'll keep it. What do you got? Hey, an Uzi. And a Glock. I would like either one of those, to be honest with you, but not for that price tag. Besides. Sweet. Armor plus one. Still doesn't do shot for aggravated soap though. Nocturne Theater. Ooh. Sorry to interrupt. Bounce chicka wow. Cemetery runoff congealing at the door. Hmm. And who are you, Burnett Beauty? <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out well, tonight, which is just weird, straight up because I don't know of any parties going on. You could not be more strange, stranger. No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously. Everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Someone? Always. Everywhere. With names unknown. His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. I'm really not liking her at all. First, she says that she knew that I would talk. Like, she's right there. Like, you open up the door, and she's the first person you see. Those names have a melody not unfamiliar. Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably, like, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. 
Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. Go far away. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. I'm spread thin across the city at the moment. Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said he'd come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I wouldn't get thirsty. I think I know why this can't left her alone. Whiny little thing, isn't she? A box of rotting caterpillars would be better company than you. Well... Fine. You're just some no dick fledgling. I've hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on earth. <laughs> Loose lips sink ships float over the bodies of noisy ghouls. <laughs> Oh, cage dancers. Um. The voices say nothing. I must go. A bit more heavy metal than uh, the asylum. Still not bad. What have you got to Everybody say, Everybody from Virginia's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Two more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. Gothic architecture, gothic colors, gothic clothes. That would make you a... Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Several moons have passed? Several months? It didn't feel like it's been that long. Let me see. It was by my own hands that launched buildings into Santa Monica. Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Not really. My patience is wet paper. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. And what will be my prize? Drinks on the house. For a week. I delight in seeing the forefathers. Let me see now. My self-esteem is fine. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Wait, so she won't pay them, but she will pay me. What the actual hell? Venus, you're not making any sense. Hmm. Cast no doubt. I shall speak to the Tsar's children. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. He's sure. Gone, right? Never mind. Just don't go starting any street fights, all right? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priesters. Later, darling. I will be as the wind. Love Anyone evening. else? Is it? I'll never forget. She must be on like Molly or something. Whoa. Not interested. How do you suppose they get down from there? He 
suppose they're, uh... Well, she's clearly done. Yeah. He's not. Never pass up free blood. Though, this guy's been trained more than once. Brunch. Now let's go see what the, uh... Zaw's children have got waiting for me. Better not be, uh... Better not be any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I've got a flashy new set of armor. I think I can handle this. Uh. Well, maybe. There's three of them. And they don't look... None too pleased to see me. And we'll find out next time what it is that they're planning to do. Or say. And how much money they want. And how much money they will not be getting. Farewell, vampire.